good afternoon everybody nice to see you all so i am saita samanayak uh, last time you have done uh, two llm tasks with me but they were not up to the standard to uh, enroll with the design and product research document so you have to score up to a certain level to get the eligibility for the enrollment okay uh, before start i have to tell you some information uh, for the emergency procedures you have to leave from this room this is the only door you have to leave and proceed to your right hand side uh, you can see signs for the assembly area and if you want to go to the toilet toilets are on your left hand side when you leave from this room and you can see both females and male toilets are there okay uh, Uh, last time, actually, we have to do. Uh, we have to assess two core skills. That means reading and writing for the unit. Uh, for the first unit, I am going to do the reading task. For that, you have a similar skill. last time for the reading task you got a huge paragraph with lots of text and small font sizes so i know that it's really hard to read and it's really boring to read and you guys were not successful with that given so this time i have used some pictures and i have used different font sizes and i have used some different fonts to emphasize some information so you can go to those tasks and there is a, a technique called skimming and scanning you know when we are doing skimming we have to move our eyes uh, through the text to get a general idea or the basic idea of the uh, text uh, the first thing what you have to do is you have to go through the question then you know what you are supposed to do at the end then you can refer the text uh by skimming then the, there is a technique called scanning after skimming while you are scanning you can highlight the important points you know now what's the question is then you can uh, remind okay this is there then you can highlight that part like that you can circle or use another different color or something to scan the report and i'll give you 10 minutes If you have any question, you can ask from me. If you have any uh, thing, you can discuss with your colleagues. But make sure you have to do it independently. You can't copy with from others. So if you want, I will give you guys some highlighters. So you can use them for the scanning. So we'll start the task now. Yes. First, you read the question. Then you can refer the text. And if one, if anyone needs some helping with the meaning of the some words, there is a glossary. you can discuss with your colleagues if you can understand anything if you need more help you can talk to me
visiting my mom, then you are having more research, then five months since you have the function, like something. What is the right Yes, you can write your name here. If you want the process, you can.
Okay, we are waiting for you to start to assess your reading skills. And now we are going to check your writing skills. For that, uh, I'm going to give you a business letter. You have to write a business letter, or, and I am giving you a letter someone has written, but it is having lots of uh, errors, like they have repeated some words, and that's not in the correct format, and some more stuff. And for that, I am giving you the format as well, so you can refer to that format as a guider, and you have to rewrite the letter uh, in the blank paper I have provided. Before you start, I'll show you something. This is the format of a business letter. Uh, normally, when you are writing a business letter, you are using a uh, letter head what your company is having. So normally the address of the company is already exists in your uh, business letterhead. So with that, you have to put the date. When you are uh, uh, putting the date, you have to put the date first, then the month, and then the year. And then you have to put the recipient name and the address. Who is the intended recipient of this letter, then that that is the person who is going to read the letter, what you are sending. Then you have to uh, address his uh, or with his or her name, like dear and Mrs. or Mr. Then you have to put subject, why you are writing this letter, what's the purpose. Then the person, the recipient knows uh, what's regarding this letter. So then you have to write few paragraphs. The letter I have given you, the there are no any paragraphs. It's uh, just uh, within with the one paragraph. So you have to separate few paragraphs. The first one for the introduction. Then if you are having any extra uh, information to tell, you can write another paragraph as a body. And you have to uh, write something at the end. That's the conclusion you can say thank you or you can say feel free to contact me if you have any concern something like that after that you have to uh, use the word so sincerely that's for the business letters and then your signature and print your name and the title of your uh, like uh, who you are like accountant or the human resource manager Okay, you can refer this format and rewrite the letter. For that task, I'll give you 10 more minutes. So you can start it now. If you have any concern, you can ask for me and you can discuss with your colleagues and peers. Okay,
get some feedback on my training session because it will help me to improve my skills on next sessions. So please be kind enough. You guys have done a great job by repeating for the next stance. So if you are going to success with this two stance, you are going to enroll with the uh, produce and design and produce business document subject. If you are not going to score the marks uh, which required by the RTO, you have to go to a LLM specialist. We are having some LLM specialists with us because this is your second language anyway. So I know that no one is going to compete and with the second language. So we are having some specialists. They are going to help you with your uh, abilities. 
So you can contact us if you want um, any help. So thank you so much for coming and for your time.